All right, hey everyone. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Today we are doing a alternator, alternator change on a 172. Uh, but another on the ramp repair because, uh, as you can see, it's kind of in the back. So I'm just gonna do it in here instead of our hanger. That's gonna be fun. We got the box, we're all set up. We got the new alternator. So we're just gonna roll it back there. All right, here we are. Just a, what's nice about these things is they work great as a seat. All right, this is gonna be fun. First thing we're gonna do here is we got this, we're gonna cut the safety wire and remove that bolt. Then we gotta remove this really long bolt that goes all the way back there, the nuts back there. It'll turn right up and we'll slip this belt off. First we're going to need this five eighths. tension bolt. Now I'm going to slip the belt off the main mounting bolt here. There it is. It looks like this capacitor is totally in the way. So let's see if we can get it out. Next, see this thing. It's not allowing, they're not usually mounted right here. They're usually mounted on the back of the alternator. Uh, so hopefully there's not a nut on the back. Hopefully I can just unscrew this and it'd be good. But this is a little capacitor. I wonder why it's not on the pack. Nice. No nut on the back. Just a little, little screw. All right. All right, so whenever you're taking an alternator on the front like this, on most light combings, uh, it's nice to put a little piece of safety wire here to uh, hold it up so it's not hanging on by the wires. But next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off all these. This is a 7 sixteenths, and the other two are 5 sixteenths, I'm pretty sure. There's your, this is your field wire. This is what tells the alternator when to turn on and regulates the alternator output. And then you have a ground, which is kind of hiding behind this boot. It's a little bitty ground right there. Yeah, see it there. There's your ground wire. So yeah, so I'm gonna pull those off and then this should just come right out and then I'll put the new one on. 7 sixteenths. Now we're gonna get a 5 sixteenths. Capacitor. Alright. We just took off the last cable and see how the alternator is just chilling right here. That safety wire. There you go. Never throw away the old alternator. There's most likely it's a core charge, so don't throw it away. <laughs> Singers. Expensive. Unboxing video. There it is. Now let's see, is this overhauled or new? It 
Shiny. Oh, well. It is overhauled. This is really fancy. So here we are. The pretty, it says, it's, this is labeled ground. You got two grounds. You got ground, ground. Then you got field. And then battery. Now, if you guys are wondering where these go, uh, this cable goes, this, this always goes on the uh, battery stud. This is the main battery, because you can tell it says bat. It says bat right there, you can see. So this goes on here. And you either can put it on here, or they had it mounted to the, uh, the baffling here, which uh, that works too. So I'm just gonna do that. But if you guys are ever wondering, this little cable goes to the, the main battery. And also another tip is to feed this uh, capacitor wire through this boot. Through the boot with the main battery wire, it just allows better protection. So, and that way this boot can cover up everything completely and not be half on there. You know what I'm saying? All right, look. Look at all that. It's just how I want it. Everything's happy. Away from it, so the ground's tight. The, this is the field wire. And then that's the main battery wire. Sorry, the belt keeps getting in the way. And we got the capacitor, which we're gonna put on later because we couldn't get the alternator off with it on. So we're gonna screw that back in as soon as we put it back up in the spot. So that's what we're gonna do now. Cut our holding safety wire. So before I, I have not totally tightened this yet, it's still kind of still on the loose. And I have not tightened that bigger bolt down here, the mounting bolt, the main mounting bolt, because that would not allow me to uh, put tension on this alternator. So that's what the this, this big guy here for. You see this kind of like square thing is? <laughs> it is one inch. It's just not machined right. See? So now I'm going to take my 9 16 and it is a really a, I don't know how to describe it. You'd have to do it in real life. So I'm going to show you how tight this, this belt is supposed to feel like because it is really all by hand once you get this tightened. But it's just not it. It's not as tight as you think. So let me feel this. This is how you feel it. See, that's about right. It's just not too tight. It's not too loose. It feels good. And I was not. I was not putting a lot of pressure on this. I was putting very little. Now I'm gonna. I'm gonna safety wire this. This is just uh, just 32 thousandths wire. Works great. Let me uh, zoom up on the the work area here. All right. Bolt loosens in that direction. So you look at the bolt at the top here. It's wanting that if you don't want it to go this way, the way that my finger's going, that way. The whole idea is to hold it from going that way, if that makes sense. So this is, yeah, as you can see, a very difficult one to kind of get to here. Like I said, really tight spot. There we go. Let's 
Now I'm just going to run it through here. There you go. Now what are the chances of this bolt rotating in this direction? Yeah, there you go. It's all done. That is a successful safety wire. I'm going to put, go ahead and tighten this up now. The mounting bolt, and then I got to swing this over and put that on there. And then this will be an installed alternator. Yeah. The washer and nut. All right, there you go. It's all on and solid. Everything's tightened up. Everything's good to go. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was just a fun, quick, fun project to do. Yeah. Comment the videos you want. Like, subscribe for more aircraft maintenance videos. And yeah, see you guys next time. Love you.